All right, gang, thought I'd pop in here, just make a quick video. So when we look at PFMEAs, when we do consulting on PFMEAs, this is an area where most people have a little room for improvement. And some people have a lot of room for improvement. This is in the cause of failure. When we look at the cause of failure, one of the common themes in FMEAs that are underperforming is the causes are not something that they have control over. Now I want you to think about that for a second. The PFMEA has a cause that you do not have control over, which means you cannot prevent it, right? You cannot prevent economic meltdown. You cannot prevent the vendor from sending you bad material. But yet, it's in your PFMEA, which automatically puts you in a position of being powerless. What I want you to think about here, when it comes to causes, causes that are not actionable are called complaints. And so when you look at the PFMEA, if I look at the causes and I don't have the authority to change them, now that's a new term for us, authority, this leads to what is not actually a cause, but a complaint. And really then the PFMEA becomes a passive document full of a bunch of things that you can't actually engage or control. And as a result, it is just no more than a list of things that might, could, should happen to you. So one of the quickest ways to improve the actionability of your PFMEA, look at the causes that are there and separate those that you have control over from those that you don't. And that will sort out exactly where you may have a passive less than powerful stance in your PFMEA. All right, if you like this video and you want more on PFMEA, check out our blog at plexusintl.com where we have a lot of videos on IETF, Core Tools, AS, and a whole host of other things. All right, we'll see you in the next one.